If you have eight sheets of plywood laying around, you can build this huge mangonel. A few months ago, I designed this mangonel here that relies on the elastic twisting to generate the power. The problem with this approach is that you can't scale it very well. So when I wanted to make something much larger, I had to use a different uh, trigger mechanism. And as you can see, it's much more powerful. All right, let's see how it was made. As you can see, there's a rather large size difference between these two projects. The one on the left here, uh, this uses two sheets. This one uses eight sheets. Now, the reason why the mechanism needed to change is, as you can see here, you have a twisting action. And this works perfect at a small scale. It's not very powerful, but you know the intention of this is not to break into a castle or anything. While well, the much larger model, that doesn't work. So what you have to do is have the elastic expanded and powered this way. Now this model is much heavier, much stronger, and I think plywood is the ideal material to use just because of its strength. The nice thing about having your own CNC table router is you have lots of little pieces. So in this case, it's actually to your advantage. You can make ammo. Now this is very light and it throws it a pretty good distance. All you need to do is increase the number of elastics you have under here, or their power, and you'll just get exponentially stronger uh, catapulting power, I guess.
If you cherish your fingers, remove parts between tool paths, not during. The nice thing about plywood is that you can do basically anything with it, um, as long as you use your imagination and you get your plans from woodmarvels.com. I'll see you in the next video.